Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Obscanger here. So the Galaxy Nexus and Nexus 4 are notorious for having what's known as soft keys, also referred to as on-screen navigational buttons. Now these buttons are really convenient and a lot of people love them. The cool thing is, these keys aren't exclusive to keyless devices. They can be added to any Android device running Android 4.0 or above. So to do this, you'll need the following. First, a rooted Android device. Next, you'll need to be running at least Android 4.0, aka Ice Cream Sandwich. And that's pretty much it. So, let's get this started. Open some hey! Alright, so to begin, we're going to need to have some way in which we can edit our build prop file. Now, the build prop file is located in the system folder. So you're going to need some type of root explorer to access it. So I'm using the app Root Explorer, which is available within the Google Play Store for, I believe, uh, a few dollars. I forgot the price exactly. But you can also use other Root Explorers, such as ES File Explorer, which is free, and I believe Astro may have its own Root Explorer. So the option is up to you. So you can open up Root Explorer. Alright, so what we're going to do is navigate to your system folder. So go down to System, then go to Build Prop. Next we want to do is we want to make sure it's mounted as RW, so mount RW, top right there, come on, hit it, there we go. Alright, so we're going to tap and hold that, and go to open in text editor. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I have the build prop open. Now the build prop basically is, it's a file that holds all the customizations for your device on boots. Basically it holds the name and, I mean it holds a lot of stuff in this file. and. There's a lot in what you can do with the build prop, so maybe one day I'll make like a whole customizations video on it. But one customization we're about to do is actually adding the option to saying you'd have no hardware keys, so it'll bring up the software keys. So what you want to do is go to navigate to the bottom of your build prop, and then type in the following. Type in Qemu, Q E M U. Dot H W. No spaces. Dot main keys equals zero. Now let me remove these spaces. I have some spaces in there. All right. So what we typed in was kimu dot hw dot main keys equals zero. So after you type in, we do is go to menu and you want to go to save and exit. Now what root explorer is going to do is going to make a backup of it. So it's automatically backed up. Um, since this is one simple change, I mean, obviously to revert it, you can just remove it, but um, it's always good to make a backup. So after you do that, what we want to do is go and reboot your device so the changes can be applied. So go to restart, and we want to reboot our device. All right, so we just reboot it, and as you can see, voila, at the bottom, there is our on-screen navigational keys. And yeah, I mean, they're kind of ugly, but hey, it's there. Um, we have our multitask key right there, home key, back key, and I mean, they function properly and just as they should. Back, whoa, multitask. Wow, look at that, look at that right there. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, you have your on-screen navigational keys and the kind of, maybe I wouldn't say cool thing, but the interesting thing is that your hard keys still do work in conjunction with your soft keys. So, I guess you have two keys now, hardware keys and soft keys and yeah, pretty much. Now, I do admit, if you already have hardware keys on your device, this is a big waste of real estate. I mean, I know a lot of people will comment that and say, well, what's the point in doing this when you already have hardware keys? But it's still cool nonetheless. And maybe if your hard keys aren't working or you just hate using hardware keys, then you can use these on-screen navigational soft keys, which work really well. Now, here's the main thing, how to go back. To change it, all you need to do is go back to your Explorer. So I'm gonna go back to Root Explorer. Just go and find that. And we're going to go to our Root Explorer, go back to your system, build prop, pass it right there. Let's mount it first, our read writable, build prop, open in text editor. And to remove it, all you need to do to revert it is to remove the line at the bottom. Remove the line, just add it. Bam, 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 bam. And menu, save and exit and then reboot it and your normal keys will be back as they should and those keys will be gone. Alright guys, so this has been how to enable software keys on your Android device. It's a pretty fun thing and I highly suggest you just try it yourself and just have fun with it. So thanks for watching and tune in for another guy nice video. Thanks.